Nano Dimension stock has been all the talk lately. ARK Invest is all in on Nano Dimension stock and YouTube creators are as well. But what is Nano Dimension and why is everyone telling us to buy Nano Dimension stock? To answer these questions, we're first going to look at Nano Dimensions as a company. That will help us answer why Nano Dimension stock is skyrocketing and why people think it will continue to grow. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nick and I make videos here on YouTube to help you understand money better. The only thing I ask is if you end up enjoying this video, give it a big like down below. All right, let's get right into it. We're gonna go over Nano Dimension as a company. All right, so Nano Dimension is a company that was founded in 2012 and they're a 3D printing company. Now this company is based out of Israel but does have main business in the United States. And this is a picture of their main product. They have a 3D printer that I'll go over in a little bit more detail. So their main catchphrase is a electrifying additive manufacturing. But what does that actually mean? Nano Dimension doesn't 3D print everyday objects that you're probably used to seeing. They actually 3D print small circuit boards to be used in various electronics. And no, I'm not talking about RC cars or iPhones. This stuff is used in much, much larger and more expensive things. This puts Nano Dimension in a growing niche where they're the primary supplier. There are virtually no other companies doing what Nano Dimensions is doing. Now you can see here, this is actually a printed circuit board that was printed by the Dragonfly 2020. This is a Nano Dimension product, but these are the type of things that they actually 3D print. And this right here is another example of their circuit boards that they could 3D print. And usually things like these in the past are never 3D printed. Now I'll show you in a little bit, but Nano Dimension claims that this is way more efficient and cost effective. Now let's go over some Nano Dimension use cases. So they obviously have to sell products. They mainly sell their 3D printers, but what do they actually print and what are they used for? So we can see here, they have some case studies on their website, but the main ones that you may know of is IoT Wi-Fi access points. So you can see here, this second one, they actually have a little circuit board that can be used in internet connected devices to actually provide Wi-Fi to that device. That alongside RF antennas, integrated circuits, and other things, basically everything that you would never see in a product, they can build these small circuit boards for using 3D printers. Now the main markets Nano Dimensions is in is very, very impressive. First, they're in the research market, so they have sold 3D printing machines to research institutions, colleges, and universities, and this basically has allowed those entities to be able to be more efficient relative to the usual traditional manufacturing that would usually be used for these circuit boards. They also are in the aerospace industry as well. So they claim that their 3D printing technology solves challenges by using lightweight solutions that previous manufacturing practices couldn't do. The one main industry that they're definitely in, Nano Dimension has been selling a lot of products to the defense industry. Now this is not only the United States defense industry, they've been selling products to Australia and European countries. Now their big marketing pitch here is that their printers can produce those circuit boards way faster for products than normal manufacturing could. Then in addition to those big three markets, they also sell for medical devices and automotive and industry products. Okay, now onto their main 3D printer that they sell, their Nano Dimension Dragonfly LDM system. So this system, as you see on the screen, is a 3D printer with a screen. I'm not gonna go into all the technical specifications of what this printer does, but basically it stands for Lights Out Digital Manufacturing System, and they claim it's the industry's only comprehensive additive manufacturing platform that can do around the clock 3D printing of that circuitry. Now what are some advantages? They obviously say the cost, time, automation, and that this machine can run 24 seven without a human needing to be there for production are huge things. Okay, so now that we know generally what Nano Dimension does, how is this going to affect their stock for the short and long term. Well, first, as I said, many believe that Nano Dimension has positioned themselves to be the leader in this industry of 3D printed electronic circuits. They basically are the only manufacturer that is producing these 
3D printers for this specific purpose. And as you can see, the markets for this product are huge. It basically spans across multiple industries where there is a lot of money being thrown in for research and development. I want to harp on the defense industry being the primary consumer of this product because of all the manufacturing they do for various products. Now this is the reason that Nano Dimension can grow because of the increased scalability of this product across years. And earlier this month, Nano Dimension sold two of their top of the line 3D printers. One was to a research institution and one was to an Australian defense contractor. I think if they keep getting high profile sales, other large companies and corporations will catch on and say, wow, I need to get one of those 3D printers from Nano Dimension because they're on the leading edge, the cutting edge of this technology. Now on the flip side to this, Nano Dimension's third quarter sales underperformed. The company posted a loss of 45 cents per share on revenue of only 438,000. Now those numbers are about 50% of what analysts actually expected. Nano Dimension's CEO came out and stated the pandemic has definitely stunted their growth a little bit in 2020 because companies aren't willing to put that money forward to innovating and buying products such as this 3D printer to help them in the long run. But he expects Nano Dimension to be fully recovered by mid-2021. So what does this all mean for Nano Dimension stock? Currently, Nano Dimension stock is at $7.15 a share, while at the beginning of the year, they started around $2 to $3 a share. Now let's check on some ratings from Yahoo Finance on the stock. The stock is slightly bearish with an overvalued rating, but in the long term, it is expected to rise. Personally, I think the $7 a share mark is a bit high at the moment. These type of small companies are risky, but if you are able to get in now and invest in Nano Dimension, you might see a skyrocketing stock in the future. Now I want to end with this, and this is a big disclaimer. Stocks like this can be very, very volatile, and just five years ago, Nano Dimension stock was at $84 a share. Yes, $84 a share. Since that point, it's been on a decline to this year, and it got under a dollar a share. Now from then, it's raised back up to $7, sparking a good growth from that penny stock, but it was at one point $84 a share, so you just have to be careful and know that stocks like this can be very volatile. Now with that being said, it could skyrocket and you could get some great gains if you do invest now. Either way, I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.